The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McTwat Waffle. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Scotty, I mean this in all sincerity. Mm-hmm. Fuck off. God damn it. Why? We used to be such good friends. I don't, I don't care for the way that you exist oh at all <laughs> no, thanks yeah it's it's really obnoxious yeah i know uh but you know what guys we got another guest this week derek has a uh, baseball that he has to uh you know attend to i stopped uh, outside the stadium on my way here and just went the horn every time i heard him talk. good good <laughs> you should uh, we have another excellent stand-up comedian, somebody I actually have been wanting to have on the show for a long time, but uh, just didn't have the balls to but ask Derek him. Derek kept saying no. Yeah, Derek kept on going, fuck that guy. No, really? He, he really does, <laughs> doesn't get my spot, no matter what. <laughs> uh, but we have uh, excellent stand-up comedian, Biggs. Yeah, but that's the thing, is I didn't really want his spot, because I was next to this douchebag, right? Mm, yeah, well, hey. Then hey. we were supposed to just make fun of this fucking yeah, yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, me. Honestly, the first question I have for any guest that comes on this show is, can you host a podcast yeah because <laughs> we are always looking for a new host interviews are open yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't have my own belt so i guess i can't <laughs> that's not a requirement no. we did 100 episodes without do that you belt. take that True. places y- yeah it's just here for the podcast all the time or you like go to work in that i go to work in that really it, yeah what do you do besides well i mean I like to I like to make TikToks of it and, and flash it around. That's what I I love to do. That your belt has its own TikTok. Yeah, he takes it deer hunting. How many followers? Wouldn't that distract the deer? Yeah, maybe yeah. a little bit. Well, he it's doesn't want to. He can't bring himself to kill one anyway, so he just scares him away scares with the light the belt. reflection. He just shows him the belt. Look, deer! I got a belt. Go away, deer! Get out of here before I got to shoot you. <laughs> Shut up. You want to make fun of or make fake football stuff? I don't even know what it's fantasy for. Fantasy yeah, fantasy football. football yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, it's like magical Disney creatures and stuff playing football. <laughs> Why do I got to sit in the middle? I feel like you might be contagious. No. That's what you're trying to do. No, 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 no. Are you going to be dumber at the end of this? No, if, if, oh, we, yeah. if yeah. we switched spots, that would mean I would be closer to Jeremy, and that would make him very angry. What do you feel like you guys would start touching like, each other? I, no. <laughs> that, that, that Maybe not in a happen. nice way. Not in a nice way. We have a strict Scotty no contact like rule. You in the back seat on a long road trip kind of touching. <laughs> Yeah, no. yeah, he didn't touch me. I'm not yeah, touching you. Stop touching yourself. <laughs> Grab his hands and yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, if this is the very first time you've listened to this podcast, uh, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 90% of the times they're directed towards me. Uh, also, this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that is not your thing, get the fuck out of here. You're in the wrong place. Thank you and good night. All right. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about sports related. We've obviously got uh, questions in preguntas, overrated, underrated, the shitty situation. Uh, but before we get to that stuff, let's start off with our week week recap. Uh, what we did over the last week, and then obviously, Biggs, you just tell us, uh, you know, what you, who the fuck you are. Yeah, what have you done all your life? <laughs> no, I got something to talk about for the last week. Oh, okay, okay. go go for it. Oh, I gotta go first. Okay, yeah. well, sure. So I'm fat, right? And I'm trying to get rid of bread out of the night. This is a new thing for me. No bread. No bread. Oh. So last week is all no bread, and then yesterday somebody's like, "Hey, let's go to dinner." I'm like, "Where are we going?" And they're like, "Texas Roadhouse." And I'm like, "You fucking son <laughs> of a bitch!" <laughs> no this rolls. Is the, no, this is the problem with being a fat guy. Is I can't. I'm not gonna go in there and be like, "Hey, don't bring any rolls to my table," because I'm <laughs> with other people, right? Right. So they keep bringing rolls, but they keep bringing them and sitting in front of me because they see all oh, the fat guys gonna want more rolls. They just sure. assume. To get ahead of the game. So I'm at one point, I've got three trays of rolls in front of me, and I'm like, this is like crack, right? You can't. I had I ate so much bread yesterday. <laughs> it's like I didn't even do the whole previous week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been eating low carb since first of the year. Yeah. I feel better. Yeah. And I'm not, not any thinner. No? Because you drink a lot of beer, though, right? No. no. I, I have. I can count on one hand all the beers I've drank since the new year. What happened? You know... Uh, I mean, my honest answer on that is it took my body a long time to purge out all the the toxins and stuff from the carbs and gluten and shit that I was eating. And so I'm just not in a big hurry to go putting a bunch more in my, my nah, system. That's fair. Well, look at you all healthy over there. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm the <laughs> pinnacle of health over here. I kind of feel like you got on the soapbox there for a second. Like I'm so much better than both of you. <laughs> well, I am, but not not because of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, I feel like if they could do a silhouette outlet of me for the NBA, that's how good a shape I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to see that. But uh, but obviously you're a local stand-up comedian, right? Yeah, I was after dinner with Janet Williams, the Tennessee Trimps, this little old lady, comedian, very funny, very dirty. And uh, at the end of the meal, the manager came over and she was like, how was dinner? Was everything okay? And I was like, she kind of was a bitch in the middle of this. Can you do something about that? <laughs> she went by and was like, well, he was an asshole. And he's like, I don't know what to do with this table. I'm like, I don't think that ever happened at Texas Roadhouse before. <laughs> I've seen her before. Yeah. Who is this? The Jana Tennessee Le- Tramp. The Tennessee Tramp. Oh, okay. All right. She's a little, she's a little potty mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay. watching your grandma tell dirty jokes mm-hmm. for, well, for an hour. For, she's very good at it. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay. Well, for, for a lot of people that have been listening to this episode or listening to this podcast for a really long time, you actually came up on an episode. I did. Yeah. Derek actually was telling a story about how you used to uh, open your act um, as you would walk out with a fucking unicycle. Somehow I <laughs> came to acquire a unicycle. I think... If I remember correctly, I had a friend who liked to steal stuff. <laughs> Nobody's ever bought a unicycle, by the way. They just have one. I didn't buy it. But I think what it was is a guy that I knew, he stole. He would steal stuff out of parked cars. And he came up with one, same with a unicycle. And he's like, I don't know what to do with it. And I was like, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. And he's like, sold. I'll be and honest so, with you. If you ever see a car with a unicycle in it, you have to steal it. <laughs> yeah, right? you, you are, you'll yes. actually get arrested if you don't. No shit. So I would walk up on stage with this unicycle and I'd go, hey, y'all want to see something amazing? And I'd hold up the unicycle and they'd be like, yeah! And I'd throw it down and do that stupid thumb. Like, I made my thumb disappear, Drake. <laughs> And then I would just go into my head and never mention the unicycle again. I'd be so angry. That's the best part, is that you never mention the fucking yeah. unicycle again. Well, you just throw it down like I didn't even have it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, uh, anything else happened over your last week, or is that good? That's I'm good. All right. That's good. Well, uh, welcome into the show, Biggs. I'm uh, glad to be here. Yeah, Finally. Yeah, finally. We've been wanting to have you on. I've just been too nervous. You got over that Derek roadblock. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't be nervous. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, how about... Uh, how about... No... Uh, yeah, how was your week, Jeremy? Fuck. Yeah, uh, like shit. Yeah? Um, actually, I had a, a decent, nice long weekend. Yeah? Um, Did wife make you Chinese food? Uh, <laughs> she's racist. Asian. Everything <laughs> she makes is Chinese food. It's not just uh, Asian? She, she's made me mashed potatoes before. That's Chinese food when she makes it. Um, well, fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> you um, said it wrong. It's fried chicken. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I actually about made her piss her pants the other day. <laughs> Off of a stupid comment, somebody talked about hand battered chicken, uh-huh. and I said something about how we actually donate money to the battered chicken shelter. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought she was going to fucking lose it. I have a confession. Can I uh-huh. say it over here real quick? Yeah. yeah. What if I interrupt? When I was younger, I thought chicken wings. I didn't realize those were wings from chickens. I thought. That those were the legs and the wings of Cornish game hens, <laughs> and there was a farm somewhere with a bunch of wingless, legless chicken or little game hens rolling around. <laughs> they harvested all these chicken wings and stole the dust from. That's very brave of you to make that confession. <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't like a ton of doll. This is I was a kid. And I didn't. I never asked. I just assumed something and went with it for a long time. Yeah. That sounds like more of, more of just a story and not really a confession. <laughs> I, I, don't, like a confession. I don't know that the police are going to take your statement on that. Yeah, <laughs> I used to think buffaloes. I'm not sure that there's even a crime there. Yeah. I mean, the laws have changed Imagine a lot. the farm full of wingless, legless Cornish games just rolling around. Oh, That's man. all I can think about oh, now. I would love to think about that. Yeah, yeah. I would have said, make the birds. Disney movie about that. Yes, yes they hope. should. They should. <laughs> Anyways, what else happened to you over the, over the week there, uh, Mr. Jeremy? Uh... Went to uh, went saw a movie. Uh huh. Went and saw uh, Shang Chi. <laughs> and um, was that any good? <laughs> Boy, does it suck! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a Marvel movie, man. Yeah, uh, no. If they would have made it a Marvel movie, it was would be good. They made it basically like every old kung fu movie. Oh, zero plot development, zero explanation for anything going on. Just weird. Chinese legendary shit that just everybody is cool with, uh-huh. and um, just better special effects. Oh boy, yeah, it is. Uh, it was a to call it a waste of time would be an insult to wastes of time. <laughs> it really sucked. So, would you rather do the podcast or go watch that again? 
Scotty won't be at the movie. I mean, is that an option? <laughs> no. Because I mean, I, kind of. You could do it. Whatever, whatever the fuck it takes you to want. get the fuck out of here. Oh, okay. Damn. Ouch. I don't that's... even know what you guys are talking about. I think that's what you with comic books. I know nothing. I know. I'm the same a, way. I hate it's it. the I newest in the Avengers movies. The they're starting the next line okay. of the story. Are you speaking Spanish? Because I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm the same way. I yeah. know less about comic books than I do sports. That's impressive. Wow. I've never seen Star Wars. I don't know anything about that stuff. Well, oh, man. Star Wars is... I mean, I probably saw one. I, no, I know three things about Star Wars. Uh, there's some little munchkins flying through a forest on, like, hovering jet skis. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a... Uh, uh, they dip that one guy in bronze like they did my sh- baby shoes. My parents, they dip yeah, in uh-huh. bronze. Oh, yeah. And then... Uh, there was that Darth Vader guy. I know that guy. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's like if I pass him on the street, I'd be like, "Hey, that guy's from Star Wars." <laughs> I'm gonna be Star honest. <laughs> that was actually very close to George Lucas's first draft of the screenplay. Really, there's those three yeah. things. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got it all on a on a napkin. But usually, nice. people get mad because it's not bronze; it's something else. Carbon. Carbon. Carbonite. How carbonite. Mean, what is yeah. carbonite? Was that a real thing, or is that a Star Wars made up? That's thing? a Star Wars. Yeah, it's a Star Wars thing. It's not real. Uh, I mean, carbon actually exists, I mean, yeah. but yeah. I don't think they really use that to transport people. I like bronze. You don't? It looks like bronze to me. You, you don't think it's actually something that they use to transport people? I think they should. Dude, do you know how long ago we would have put you in that shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If that was a real thing. I would just be sitting in this chair and you and Derek and Biggs probably just having the podcast, having a good oh, time. Oh, yeah. You would take the place of this banner. Oh. <laughs> we would hang you on the fucking wall, dude. Fucking phenomenal. I could just duct tape a camera to him. Yeah, no on. shit. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, I had a, I had a great week. Um, oh, we I, care? Yeah. Jeremy? I guess I was done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you not done? Yeah, I was. Quit with the fucking pen. No. <laughs> Stop it! You take that from me. Okay, I'm going to. Jesus. All right. What was the rest of your week? That was it. Oh, okay. I just didn't care for the fact you made the assumption. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Well, um, I, uh, I actually, I, I'm going to start this off with I did not have the perfect week. I had a decent week uh, because all of a sudden I woke up on Friday, which is the start of a three day vacation for me. Uh, all of a sudden with a shooting pain down from my left butt cheek all the way down my left leg. That's the wrong kind of shooting I wanted for you. <laughs> oh, no, no. It, it was very painful. It was a little torture. Um, yeah, but no bullets involved. That's true. Uh, but I had uh, sciatica, so it was absolutely painful like a motherfucker. I ended up getting one of those fucking massage guns, though. Mm-hmm. Holy fuck. Those things are fucking awesome. Does Ab- that shoot bullets? No. no. It's not really much of a gun, is it? It shoots kind of like a foam ball, just really fast back. And so here I am with a fucking mas- massage gun just like on my left butt cheek trying to get the, the sciatica to go away. I have an airsoft gun I'd be happy to pepper <laughs> your ass with. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. Will that work? No, that probably won't work very well. Uh, we I had that, uh, but the probably most important thing that happened to me over the last week was actually yesterday. Derek, myself, and Jeremy had our fantasy football draft. Yeah. Out of all of the teams. You notice that didn't make my list Shut of up. important shit. Uh, 12 team league? I had kind of forgotten about it. Scotty got the only A out of uh, the, the Yahoo. It's just Ra- you three? No, it's, there's 12 of us. It's a 12 team yeah. league. So if but, you win that belt next year, are you going to put it over here? Jeremy? It, yeah. Yeah. I, I guess that's how we're doing it. <laughs> okay. Um, in which case, that belt would be fucking cool. <laughs> but right now, that belt sucks shit. I feel like you just set it on fire in front of Scotty. Be like, I want it. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, it. It, I can do whatever I want. And so I'll, my, I don't like sometimes how my tire touches the ground. <laughs> I hate that. And so I'd like to just park my car on it for a while. I did a, I did a, a TikTok video of me getting into my truck with the belt coming to uh, like Stone Cold Steve Austin music. Yeah, we all do TikTok, Scott. Oh, it was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I bet you my neighbors were like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Weird ways yeah. you spend your I'm going to guess your neighbors are used to your bullshit by now. Probably. I, I bet they maybe? didn't even know you moved in. Probably. Nobody's come up and said, hey, welcome to the neighborhood. Would they? I mean, why would they? I, well, we're, we're celebrities. They don't want to come over here. They're nervous. Like me to Biggs. Why is there a Man, child's football kind of helmet on this table? <laughs> Uh, that's an autographed child's football helmet. <laughs> autographed by who? A famous little yeah, league football yeah. player? No, no Brian Erlock. Biddy Ball. Who's that? Uh, he's a football player. He's a basketball? Oh. No. Yep, he plays basketball. <laughs> he plays basketball. He used to play for the 76ers, <laughs> so he autographed Derek's Bears helmet. <laughs> Did I say Cubs? I think I said Cubs. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. 
All right. Um, yeah. We got a lot of stuff to get to, but before we do so, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor. Uh, Biggs, you know we're sponsored, right? Yeah, you by the people that shave the under sparts. Yeah, that's that's correct. Uh, Manscaped.com, uh, who have a lot of excellent products out there right now. Um, they've got the uh, Lawnmower 4.0, and that is specifically for, you know, shaving your nut to butt area. How much do they give you to pay for the guest hosts? Uh, zero. Oh, that's a good sponsorship. Yeah. No, that's a, that, yeah, exactly. Right. I over, at least somebody's going to shave me, all, right? All you can eat Texas Roadhouse rolls. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, bring me funny. regular butter. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll make it healthier. <laughs> no, Don't give me that honey butter. <laughs> I think it's cinnamon. Was it honey butter or cinnamon, cinnamon butter? butter? Yeah, oh. yeah, cinnamon butter. Probably honey in there, too. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, they make it. I got to make it t- taste extra delicious. I mean, delicious. they got to put cinnamon and sugar. Have you ever eaten cinnamon just by itself? <laughs> That's a whole different experience. Just make cinnamon toast with no sugar on it? Oh, <laughs> that'll wake you up. <laughs> Uh, but yes, manscaped.com uh, have a bunch of excellent products. We talked about the Lawnmower 4.0. Uh, they have uh, things. My favorite product is the Weed Whacker. That's the one that gets up there and then it uh, gets all your nose hair and shit mm-hmm. like that. Nose hair, ear I thought hair. you were like, get up there and get yourself. And I thought you were going a whole other direction. <laughs> no, what direction did you think I was going? I thought maybe you had some loose butt hair. <laughs> no, to get no, that's that's for the Lawnmower 4.0. <laughs> <laughs> I've mean, uh, got hair a lot of places. internal <laughs> hairs. That's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Get the fucking my anal. My anal. Yeah, yeah. They've got uh, a lot of other products. They got the tool shed that comes uh, with uh, all kinds of stuff, like your ball toner, your ball deodorant. It's getting hot out there, folks. Uh, ball deodorant's very important, especially considering if you have a, a female friend or a male friend. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, they're gonna really appreciate that. God damn it, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, why is this one doing it now? Because <laughs> they just all do it. it. I have a tendency to make pins do that. That's, that's true. That's my special talent. Uh-huh. God God bless me with that. There's yeah. a lot of underwears out there now where they want to put your balls on a pouch. What's that about? Balls on a what? In a pouch? You've seen all these oh. underwear ads on Instagram and stuff where they're like, put your balls in this inside pouch. Well, it's okay. Keeps it's it the, away from your legs. It is the typical advertising thing where they make up problems <laughs> and then solve them. <laughs> like guys were just walking around going, my balls are flopping around yeah, exactly. so much in regular underpants. <laughs> Have you ever had your balls? I've never clicked on one of these. Fall out of your pants? But they're in my timeline like I'm talking about it all the time. <laughs> We're going to get Amazon ads for that tomorrow. I think sometimes they just target shit of fat people. You ever yes. get that one for the big roll of toilet paper? No, because y'all are skinny. <laughs> yeah. But somehow I'm getting a fucking year's supply in one roll. Yeah. I mean, the Manscaped, no, I, I understand that, the lawnmower part of it, because nobody wants to see a dude with unzipped pants and it's like they're looking at Gabe Kaplan. <laughs> nobody wants that. Right. Scotty, you don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Welcome, welcome back, Cotter. What, welcome back who? Cotter. Cotter. Oh, okay. Cooter. It's yeah, John that's an even a, that's still. an even more obscure reference. Let's get ready to say still. Did you know that John Travolta was in a sitcom? He's in Welcome Back, Cotter. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right, it's great. Barbarino, Scotty. Okay, Vinny Barbarino. Yep, guys, everybody, even including our listeners, are still like, hogs, Scotty. Fuck. Come on, who the fuck are they talking? Well, about? I feel Spanger. like one of these references is going to jar your memory. <laughs> no, no, you spent your whole oh, life. Oh, you spent no. your whole life fantasizing about football. Yeah, oh, that show with Horshack. You missed stuff. <laughs> Uh, but check them out at manscaped.com. Most of our listeners are under 14, by the way. Do they have anything? <laughs> do they ever, like, if they, maybe if they have, like, a product where they, like, uh, collaborated with Reach toothbrushes, I could use that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because I'm going to need something with Reach. That's all I'm saying. You need well, an extension is what you need. I can something. tell you this. Can I duct tape it to the end of a back scratcher and get out? <laughs> yes, you can. You, you will definitely be able to see what you're doing because this thing yeah. has a light on it. And this time it's adjustable. Now it's adjustable. Mm-hmm. The original one, it just turned on, and people were actually getting blinded yeah it'd be nice it to see so. the shadow of my penis on the wall <laughs> sure <laughs> that's about all with it's, it. it's all gonna come in the handy for me <laughs> look at it oh uh, it's so precious beautiful beautiful mental it's picture shadow snuffleupagus is here <laughs> 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 fucking bigs and a welding mask trying to shave his nutsack with a with a back scratcher well, i need a Davey welding <laughs> mask because <laughs> that's led man that oh, was okay. bright it's so bright oh yeah uh, you don't want to get shot in the eye with that no mm-hmm. no that's the whole People reason think for... there's a prison break mm-hmm. if you get yeah. have that on full blast yeah you know how stevie wonder got blind it looks bigger in the shadow because it's black <laughs> oh oh yeah that's true <laughs> that's true 
Uh, but anyways, check them out, uh, manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That also tells them that we are doing our job and reading the uh, <laughs> the script of the commercial word for word. What if the product doesn't work out and you want to return it? Do they send that out to somebody else? No, you can return it. I think but it's... Well, who do they do with the ones that get returned? They don't send them out to other people. Well, if it didn't work right, I mean, yeah. they're probably not going to send that back out. Yeah, well... They'll uh, fix it and maybe sell it to somebody half What price. if some guy just swiped one swipe and was like, ah, oh, this ain't for me, and he just quit? Yeah, they, t- they got a re- return policy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But do they, but do, the, they, do they redistribute them? Yeah. yeah they, like, so they could have been yeah, on somebody else's says This, this it. guy was like, yeah. I just didn't really like it, I so they, they sent, sent it, it to the ones. I bet they sent it to the ones that Probably. I bet you we got all used ones. <laughs> you got all used ones. Like, yeah. This one came back from. I was wondering. Look, we, I, we alcohol swabbed them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spray I mean, with that bowling shoe spray. Yeah. yeah. Well, we swabbed them. <laughs> we took a Q-tip and looked at them. I just feel like you're giving them too much credit. I was wondering why there was red pubes in my No, they're actually, they are an excellent You got one from Boston, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Only guy has anything to do with Boston. Yeah, but anyways, check them out, manscaped.com. <laughs> okay, we got some sports to get to, uh, kids. Uh, first thing I wanted to bring up uh, was last week, this was an actual thing, but I didn't know enough about it to even bring it up. What? But there was a high school football team that catfished the fuck out of ESPN. Did you hear about this? No. Biggs, I don't know you didn't. I, I don't eat fish. You don't eat fish? Mm. Uh, so when I mean catfish, they got played. They've got they got faked out big time. There's a high school. Yeah, high school fake, football teams play a fake what? high school in Ohio. Uh huh. That um, oh. they they basically said they had a whole bunch of five star recruits of high school kids. Uh huh. Um, they ended up losing to an actual. Like well-known academy football team and a high school football team. Oh uh, yeah, this sixty to zero, and everybody's like, "What the fuck is going on?" So they looked into it. It turns out uh, Bishop Sycamore is the high, the fake high school. Um, they're not a member of the Ohio uh, Ohio High School uh, Athletic Association, so that's your first red flag. Uh, of the two addresses the school gave ESPN, one was just a duplex in in the state. Uh, number three. Mostly junior college dropouts in their early 20s yeah. were the players. Uh, and lastly, um, their head coach of the football team has an arrest warrant out for him in Delaware, Ohio. If that doesn't fit this fucking show yeah. any better, I don't know what Delaware is. Delaware is our favorite state, man. That's it. Uh, per the report, it's most exciting. <laughs> per the reports, the warrant uh, was for domestic violence uh, in a case from July. So, Is that really even a crime? Yeah. Okay. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. But depends um, on who you ask. Who the fuck dropped the ball here? What uh, ESPN? Well, person? it sounds like that team that lost by sixty <laughs> points. If I had to guess. Um, I mean, don't they vet their fucking like teams? They're going to well, televise. Yeah, them I better? think so. By uh, by sending people out to those games, that's kind of <laughs> like like anybody's going to see that high school football wow. is on ESPN and watch it. Wow. What was the fake name of the team? Is Bishop Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore. Was the name Sycamore. of the high school. That was the name of the high school, yeah. Oh, okay. And they lost to IMG Academy. IMG Academy, they lost. Which is a legit, years. like, uh, do we know what pipeline. Their, their mascots school. were? What was Bishop Sycamore like? I have, I have no idea what their mascots are. What if it was like one they just gave it away real bad, like the, the Bishop Sycamore Housewives? I'd be like, that seems so Oh, yeah. yeah that's what that say. would definitely explain the domestic battery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Yes, that would I totally. I thought it was one of my players. <laughs> <laughs> Face uh, mask. Yeah. Um,. But yeah, you know, go go with that. I actually was sitting. Old ladies in bathrobes. I was sitting in. Uh, I was sitting in Twin Peaks watching this game, and I'm like, because that was the only thing that was on. That's why they were televising high school football. Yeah, I would have been Aren't watching the titties. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, that too. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But, but yeah. of course, Scotty has no interest in that. Shut up. I do too. Um, but good uh, comeback. Fuck you. Um, moving on. To, Sick burn. Yeah. Uh, college football hmm. started, so we have the first sure week did. of college football. There was obviously a lot of games. Uh, Oklahoma almost got beat. Did you see that? They didn't almost get beat. They they were losing after the first quarter, and no. then they started playing. They they well no. What I mean is is that the the final score they only won. I want to say by five to Tulane. Okay, in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, yeah, but, I know where Tulane is. But, My attorney went to Tulane, Dick. Yeah, uh, but Georgia beats uh, number three Clemson. So number five Georgia beats number three Clemson. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently without Trevor Lawrence, um, not the same team. So No. What team did Boutte play for? Who? Boutte. I don't know who Boutte is. On Saturday night at the club, uh, Cook was watching some football game with some guy named Boutte making plays. 
Oh. Ooh, I do know. I think he played for Bishop Sycamore. Yeah, Bishop, Bishop, Bishop Sycamore. Sycamore. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the Butte. <laughs> uh, so that means that's probably going to, well, it may knock Clemson out uh, permanently for the playoffs. We don't really know uh, because Georgia is in the SEC. If they ended up getting beat, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, but right after we uh, recorded the show last week, uh, Cam Newton got released from the New England Patriots. Not traded, cut, released. Well, who the fuck would want him? The guy threw seven touchdown passes last year <laughs> as a starter in the NFL. I can tell you who wants who wants him. As a former NFL MVP. <laughs> with uh, the worst fucking close in history. Absolutely. I, I 100% agree with you on that. Uh, but you know who I think would uh, maybe be interested in? Houston. Because right now, apparently, Deshaun Watson is not uh, not going to play a single game for the uh, Houston Texans. Uh, Why does Cam Newton have to play? Doesn't he have all that cookie money? Yeah. Yeah. The cookie, figs. cookie money. The fig news. The best part was... Yeah, see. Th- those, those are fruit and cake. That's not cookies. Right. What, that's not. Why is that not a cookie? I don't know. That was their slogan. Yeah. What? Fig no, cookies are cookies, but Newtons are fruit and cake. Yeah. I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> look it up. I'm up on my snacks. Yeah. I look, don't even know. Look it up. You won't find a single place says that didn't happen. Yep. Um, but the other thing was uh, they started bringing back the meme from the commercial that uh, <laughs> the. <laughs> no, that really was. <laughs> I just think it's funny to be like, oh, you're a fruit and a cake. <laughs> Gary Goldman does a great bit about Fig Newton, by the way. <laughs> Uh, do you remember the commercial that Cam Newton was in? It's been obviously a couple years ago, maybe right around the time he won the MVP. Whenever he's playing, uh, like he's talking to this little kid. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's he's like, I'm just warming up my arm. Uh huh. They had so many memes talking about of, how he was going to take his. He place was going to take his job. And, yeah. yeah. There's so many memes of uh, him being like Mac Jones. I was love Cam it. Newton, the one that kept kneeling everybody all mad about. No, no, no. That's Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. Yeah. Uh, he got cut too. Or. Uh, Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, I was yeah Colin, Colin, I Colin, Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick. I was talking about yeah. the other. He got it. Yeah. Okay. I must speak Scotty. Cause <laughs> they both need That ain't good. <laughs> that is not good. I, was saying, I, was like, I didn't mean the one with the, the race stuff. Uh, no, that. Yeah, no. Um, also, we got uh, week one in the NFL starting. So uh, That's this week? That's, that's this, this week. That's this Thursday. week. Thursday, baby. Uh, who is it? Uh, the Tampa uh, Bay Buccaneers, Buccaneers, Buccaneers and, the and the Cowgirls. Uh, what do you want to take? You want to take uh, the Bucks or the Cowboys on this one? Um, I want to take a dump on the Cowboys, <laughs> and uh, no, I don't. I the Buccaneers are going to kick the shit out of them. I, I, I don't know, man. It's going to be kind of a weird year if everybody on the Cowboys stay healthy. I don't know. They always find a way to fall apart, though, and so that's what I'm hoping for. Because fuck the Cowboys. Um, but yeah. So now that we have the start of the NFL season, let's make some way too early Super Bowl predictions. Okay. Okay. I think Tom Brady's going to have a career-ending injury. Oh, you think so? God, I hope not. I'm not in the Super Bowl, with... just like in game one or two. So you He's gotta... going to strain his back lifting all his Super Bowl trophies. Okay, so pick your Super Bowl predictions. So two teams. Uh-huh. He has to buy those from the league. He doesn't get to keep the ones from the team, right? He has to, <laughs> right. Michael yeah. Irvin, he's... Yeah. Well, except the ones he threw in the lake. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Robert yeah. Kraft's not sitting in some massage parlor going, where'd I put those trophies? <laughs> yeah. No shit. <laughs> He Fuck. might be. I, th- I like to think he takes those to him with him to the massage parlor. <laughs> get some get some hype. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ready to go. Mm. He's got so many of them. He gives those out as tips. Why are these trophies all sticky? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, they are stainless steel. They get fingerprinting and yeah, it's stainless steel. Yeah. I thought it was like concrete or something. Yeah. No, it's or sterling silver. It's I guess sterling silver, which so, is basically stainless so, steel. Biggs, do you know enough about football to predict who's going to be in the Super Bowl this year? The Miami Sharks. <laughs> okay, that's going to be the are winner. Are you going to Steam and Willie Beeman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I that was any given Super Sunday. Bowl. Yeah, I remember. I remember I'm, that. I'm feeling like the Chiefs are a favorite. Can I say that? Yeah, you can say Chiefs. Now, now, uh, do you know who they're going to play in the Super Bowl? Probably the Buccaneers again. Okay, that's fair. That's a possibility. Unless Tom Brady gets... My dad, when I was a kid, he would watch sports, and he'd always go, break his leg! <laughs> and I always thought, oh, my dad is so... But now I'm like, okay, Tom Brady, break his leg! <laughs> was he watching Joe Theismann? <laughs> I don't know. He just always wanted the players to get hurt on the other team. Sure, he was just sure. a very violent person. Yeah, yeah. He I wasn't agree. a violent guy unless he was watching football. <laughs> he didn't he care wanted, who won or lost. He just wanted somebody's fucking leg broken. <laughs> he wanted somebody to get injured every game. Was, was your dad a good family man? Was yeah, he the mom? He was, no, he was a great dude. He didn't beat my mom or nothing. He was not a violent, except for when he was watching football. All right, he but wanted somebody to get hurt. Okay. That's, uh, that's just a... 
uh, preferred tactic of those in the mafia is leg breaking. <laughs> yeah, but he also couldn't stand people who got happy on Price is Right. Oh, fuck those people. <laughs> I agree. Fuck every one of them straight to hell. Some lady in Georgia wins, wins a fucking snowmobile and they're jumping up and down. He's like, you can't use that in Georgia, bitch. Why are you so happy? <laughs> like, it's fucking great. I, I always so love mad. my favorite moment ever is when they hit a dollar five on that <laughs> wheel. <laughs> I always fuck them. This is off prices, right? But I've always wanted, and I just try to say this everywhere I can. I always want to see a black family with the last name White go up against a white family with the last name Black on Family Feud. Ooh, that'd be I want to see Steve Harvey's valid. head explode. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the blacks versus the whites, or the whites versus the blacks. Who can tell? I I honestly <laughs> would like to see his head explode just anyway. <laughs> yeah. But. I, I think it Harvey. might it might actually explode under the weight of all those buttons on his jacket. Oh yeah. Well now he's gonna be a judge. Yeah. He's, that racist dude's gonna be a judge. Really? I hate to be a white guy in his courtroom. What are you listening to this heifer? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your What Steve the hell Harvey? she got to complain about? Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, um, sorry. I know, he always no. calls women heifers. Okay. See, this is why you can't talk to me about sports, because now we're talking about the performance. Uh, that's okay. It's, huh? it's far more interesting. <laughs> yeah, it, anyways. Uh, it is way way more interesting whenever we get into In tangents. fact, I want to get into the real hard subjects on you, Biggs. Where are you from? <laughs> Kansas City, <laughs> Kansas. All right. <laughs> I was, was raised in a bad neighborhood, but I was raised in uh, my next-door neighbors when I, from when I was one to, born to eight years old. One family was black on one side, and there was a Mexican family on the other side. Uh -huh. And I think that's how every kid in America should be raised. Because it totally, I don't understand. I was in all those people's houses all the time as a kid. Mm -hmm. Who knew anybody was different than anybody else? Did the, the Mexican family was on the right? Uh, they were to the south. To the My south, family okay. was to the north. Figures. <laughs> Makes did, sense. Did your dad spend his weekends building walls? And <laughs> no. Just keeping them out of the yard? Oh, God. No. It was, we were not, we were, it was a very diverse neighborhood. Well, that's I'm good, sure. That's a good way. Yeah. Anyways, did he? Is that where he learned to yell out, break his fucking leg? <laughs> My dad's famous line was always, God damn it, son of a bitch! That's what he said. <laughs> That was his line. And when I was 17, I got him one time. He went down, and this is my my favorite. He went, you have fucked up my life for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, little do you know, we got a ways to go, pal. <laughs> he come out, and he's yelling at the dog. <laughs> yeah. He's a I actually one. know your dad a little bit. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Okay, Jeremy. Yeah. Who's your Super Bowl predictions? Um... I don't know how you can't go with the Chiefs out of the AFC. Mm -hmm. um, but do you think the Buccaneers go back? I don't know who's going to challenge them. I, I really don't. I haven't seen anybody improve their team enough in the offseason to challenge either one of those two. Depends on where Cam Newton ends up. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That is Fair true. Enough. Uh, actually, I, uh, I think it's going to be the Chiefs going from the AFC. It's going to be a close game against Buffalo, though. I think that's going to be the AFC Championship game. I don't think they've closed the gap. Enough. I do. I know the Buffalo still yeah. play. Yep. Uh, but they're going to be in the Super Bowl against the Los Angeles Rams. They're going to be good. So that's my that's so. my prediction. You say so. Okay. Well, guys, we didn't have a whole bunch of sports to talk about today because you know what? We blew right past MLB. What is that about? Uh, nothing. Nothing happened in the MLB. Yeah. Seasons one. Uh, literally, <laughs> there is nothing under that heading. <laughs> no, there's not. Not even. Hey, minor teams made bigger baseball. rosters. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a thing right. playing baseball right now? Are they? Yeah, yeah there. Yeah. That's where Derek's at. Yeah. Oh, I meant like real baseball. Yeah. Let's yeah. not. Yeah, they're playing real He's baseball. He's just over at a wingnuts game or something, right? Or wind search. Wind yeah. search. Yeah. You know what I used to own? Wichita windfarts.com. <laughs> but I let it lapse because I didn't know what to do with it. It was an impulse buy. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, just buying, buying, what are those called? Domains. Buying domains on a on a whim. It's happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> they, they just start listing them as you're you getting ready to edible. check out at the fucking grocery store. Here, buy this That's, domain. Some some dickhead did that to Greg Warren. Oh, what? did he? bought gregwarren.com and keeps... Re-upping on it, and it says 
Uh, Greg Warren is a piece of shit human being. I love it. <laughs> I mean, the, and refuses to sell it to Greg Warren. That's me. That's actually, that's me. <laughs> it's you. You're the I've one met knows. Greg. I've had meals with Greg, and yeah, he's, he's such a, a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> he will skip on the bill so fast. He's like, I got to go to the bathroom, boys. Oh, God. And you don't see him again to the parking lot. You know what I'm saying? Greg does that? No, I'm just kidding. I was going to say, Greg <laughs> always seemed like a really good guy he to me. He is one of the sweetest gentlemen I've ever met in my life. He's a nice guy. He, he actually helped me keep going and stand up. Oh, cool. Awesome. Well, now but I don't, I like, him. Him now I don't like him anymore. <laughs> now, yeah. now, fuck that guy. God damn it. <laughs> oh, there's my GD for the day. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, guys, that is all the sports that we're going to talk about, at least for this week. Uh, now we get to get on to the fun. That's what we like anyways, right? Yeah, because this has been awful. Awful. This hasn't been fun at all. Yeah, I know. I uh, feel like we could uh, improve the Super Bowl if we added stuff to it. Like, what if there was a live tiger on the field at all times? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Just one, just one. Okay, three. Okay, there, there we go. go. Now, there we're we go. Yeah. now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm in. Um, I feel like every other team should get to send one of their like live mascots, and that should be in the Super Bowl. Oh, on totally. The field all time. I think they should have to play it in Big's old neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, is that right? Uh huh. Okay. That's not safe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, and neither is playing with the fucking tiger. <laughs> I mean, you're talking like inner city Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, oh, man. That's rough. We're in Wyandotte County. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. All yeah. right. They'll shoot you for your tennis shoes or your cleats. There. Right. There I, I, I'm still not sure that that's more dangerous than playing on the field with three <laughs> tigers. <laughs> Depends on what. Maybe they're baby tigers, and we didn't specify. <laughs> okay. You got me. Yeah, baby. You, you absolutely got me. <laughs> baby tigers. I got to I gotta learn to cover my base. I feel like people want to get mad. Don't step on the baby tigers. That'd be yeah. a bigger thing. <laughs> I love how, because I'll, I'll fall for it every time, too, and anytime there's a video of baby tigers, I, they're just the cutest, and I want to pick them up and hold them, and, <laughs> and everybody wants to protect them, and it's like, in a couple of months, that thing will fucking eat you. <laughs> it would have no problem tearing your throat out. Have you seen that fucking tiger? That uh, it was in India, and these guy, this guy's on like a little motorcycle. In it's a YouTube video. Oh. Um, this guy's on a, like a motorcycle, and he's got a camera, his phone camera on. And all of a sudden, he kind of looks behind him, and there is a fucking tiger that comes out of the bushes and is running as fast as possible to try to swipe his ass off of the fucking motorcycle. It scares the shit out of me. Yeah. He hates Man. Hondas. He hates Hondas? Mm -hmm. Fuck, yeah. All right. All right, well, let's get on to some overrated, underrated. That way we can have a little bit more fun. Okay. Um, guys, if you have any suggestions for uh, overrated or underrated, you can make your suggestions on our TikTok channel, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines. Um, Jeremy wanted to give you guys a little, uh, I, don't, I don't know, a, a, what do you want to call it? A, a little advice okay, when sending in suggestions for questions or overrated, underrated things. Um, we, we love that you message us and yep. all that. Um, don't start it out, and this has been a bunch of people. I don't want to think anybody think I'm talking to them individually. Talking to you, motherfucker. Harold. <laughs> <laughs> listen, but listen up, motherfucker. Don't start it off with, I've got a great one for you. <laughs> you have set the bar too high already. <laughs> you can't meet that, I guarantee you. Because yeah. now our expectations are really good, and honestly, it's just a fucking suggestion. Hey, I got it overrated or underrated. Overrated <laughs> or underrated. Uh, audience suggestions. Oh, way over. <laughs> <laughs> if you would see some of the bullshit we get, I'm submitting not, that one next week. Not all of them are dumb. Some of them are good, but a majority of them pretty bad. I would like to go through the list of bad ones. Oh man, invite me back for that podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where we do a whole series of bad audience suggestions. It, yeah. It's not just that they're bad; it's the same thing over, over and, and over, over again. again. No. Yeah. The same Some, question. I feel like it's going to get racist. What's <laughs> something you can say during odd situation and during sex? Yep. We get that all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker! <laughs> yep. All right. I so, probably shouldn't have screamed that, right? Yeah, so, I know. That's yeah. fine. Uh, first, overrated or underrated. Sure. This uh, comes in from a fan, and I like this one a lot. This is at Oli202, overrated or underrated, Nickelback. See, this is an example of a of, of a bad suggestion. No. I don't listen to Nickelback in the car because mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm in a sudden accident, I don't want the last song stuck in my head for eternity to be fucking something from Nickelback. <laughs> this is such a cliche. We yeah. all hate Nickelback. Nickelback hates Nickelback. <laughs> no, They've they come out and said it. No, they don't. I think they're underrated. I do, too. I love do you? I love Nickelback. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, I love Even Nickelback. Even you're not that dumb. Yeah, yeah. Scotty. He wants yeah. to be a rock star. I do want to be a yeah. rock star. 
So work harder at it. Quit singing stupid songs. Oh, wait. Underrated is a good thing. I meant overrated. Oh, no. Yeah, they're way overrated. No. Overrated. I don't, they're underrated. They're, they're shit. Saving me. Look at this photograph. Come on, that, man. This that, is why people make fun of you, Scotty. That Chad... I was just being a dumbass oh, a minute ago. Oh, that's that's not why. The lead singer <laughs> dated Avril Lavigne. And I feel like your argument for this on. belt is the same argument for Nickelback. No. Yeah, fucking fantasy, no. man. No. I, I, I love Nickelback. Yeah, just because he's got cool friends doesn't mean that they're cool. I don't care. They I love, suck. I, <laughs> I love his Didn't music. even Avril Lavigne leave that guy. Well, that's... You know they, I they're they're like a lesser version of Creed. Who sucked? <laughs> oh, who has no. a who has a lesser version of Bush? Who sucked? <laughs> Don't you dare fucking compare Nickelback I'm to not. Creed. They're us <laughs> ten floors below Creed. <laughs> no, they and are Creed not. Sucked. I think we can just sum it up by saying Nickelback is Canadian, and that's some. Um, uh, <laughs> they're from no, Canada. No, thank you, they're fucking hippies. <laughs> they don't even have nickels up there. <laughs> That's true. I don't know. I think they do, but I don't. I don't know. Quartz <laughs> Karai. <laughs> who was that? Quartz Karai. I don't know who that is. Probably the greatest male volleyball player of our time, Scotty. <laughs> okay. God damn, that hurt my fucking tennis elbow. <laughs> you need to stop doing that. <laughs> the fans love it. That's true. Oh shit! The Canadian five cent coin, commonly called a nickel. Oh. It? Coin worth about five cents or one twentieth of a Canadian dollar. There you go. Right, but those are Canadian dollars. Those are Canadian which nickelbacks. Are worthless. I think there's some <laughs> kind of beaver on this fucking Canadian nickel. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wouldn't you want a beaver on there? Like the Wait beaver. a minute. What kind of beaver? I think I want a beaver on a dime piece. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Use the Manscaped lawnmower 4.0 for that. Okay. Anyways, uh, next one. This Good is point, another. Scotty. Yeah. Uh, next one uh, over. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is another fan suggestion. This is at racefan nine two four nine. Overrated or underrated disc golf? You want to go bigs? I mean, I don't play sports in general. So to me, it's all overrated. Could, like I don't want to get out and walk. Could could have fooled. Like me. if I throw a frisbee and it lands, I'm like, well, I'm not going to get that. <laughs> Okay. So unless somebody's catching and throwing it back, I'm saying it's overrated. Okay, that's fair. Uh, um, I'm I'm gonna go un- underrated. It, this can actually be fun. Uh, I just uh, I've done it one time, and uh, it was it was a good time. You can drink while are you're you gonna doing take it. your clubs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Here's my problem with it is uh, I know someone who plays disc golf, and it's, they have to have a lot of discs. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of discs involved. Like they got to carry a whole thing. Yeah, a whole bag. And I'm like, and what it's hot. Mean? What do you? They got different angles. They have, they, have, they have putters. They, they have, have a disc yeah, that's have, specifically called the putter yeah. that you use for the short game. Just and then don't they, throw it as hard. <laughs> that's what you would think, but no, don't say that to him. This is why it's overrated. I, this is why I think it's underrated. Is because while I don't have any frisbee golf discs, I have an abundance of used saw blades. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this I'd play. Yes, and uh, saw blade golf. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just kind of a last man standing thing, as far as I'm concerned. That's, I don't keep score. I just I think uh, you should play that with cornhole instead of absolutely. <laughs> yeah, let's replace saw, saw blades with every ball or <laughs> got, object in sports. You got a rig shaw? Is it from your wife? <laughs> Did she rig make shaw? it? Yeah, and then what you said? What is that called? What if we take razor blades to hockey pucks? I said pucks? saw blades. Oh, so, okay, never mind. I thought you were talking You about thought it. I was going to go throw a trailer around out there? <laughs> a, a human-drawn yeah. cart? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Only I if it's know. one of the bicycle-pedaled ones. <laughs> okay, that's, okay. Uh, I'll do that. Okay, that's fair. The fu- Where did you get rig shot I don't, from? I, I don't, said saw blades. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I like the idea of razor blades on footballs. Yeah, I do too. I do too. That would be. Yeah. <laughs> That's a different kind of stickum, you know. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> he's lost a finger, but they got a touchdown. Yeah, guys won't look near so cocky trying to catch it one hand. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. Uh, anyway, just trying to save my good one. Right. Uh, next one: overrated or underrated Mountain Dew Baja Blast? Overrated. It is what? Ugh. What? Ugh. And, and I apologize to all of our Jewish listeners. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> the blast really doesn't, it doesn't really blast. What? I never feel it slam against the back of my throat. You know what no, I'm saying? Yeah, I know. But it's just more trickles. It's yeah. not, there's no blast. I don't give a fuck. That is the yeah. only good thing at Taco Bell. 
Except it for is, the Taco Bell food. And, <laughs> wait, you, can't, you can only get this at Taco Bell? I don't even know. I believe so. That's like the only place that has it uh, on like, That should tell them something. No. Is that a taco? It's a taco? No. no it's, 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 a it's a drink. Beverage. It's, I thought so. Yeah. It's the it's like the teal green Mountain Dew. It's here's, fucking bomb. Okay. Here's, here's what most people don't realize about Mountain Dew. Do you know what flavor Mountain Dew is? No. Most people do not know this because it's green. It's orange flavored. Really? Yeah. People I'll never get that. But so the Baja Blast is like lemon lime flavored, which everybody already thinks Mountain Dew is. Oh. But there was nothing wrong with regular fucking Mountain Dew. Right. You didn't need to try and throw a twist on it. I disagree strongly. It sucks. No, it's I Scotty, I realize this is an opinion, but your opinion is wrong. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you have false opinions. No. Well, I disagree. I think Mountain Dew well, Baja Blast is a Mountain Dew Baja Blast offers a bold and refreshing blast of tropical lime flavor. See? And you can get it at any store. It's well, not just Taco Bell. No, no, no. You can't go to a fast it's, food restaurant and get Baja Blast everywhere. The only but it's place a store located. I can get it at Quick Trip. Taco Bell. Yeah, oh, you they, can have, get it. they do have it in 20-ounce bottles, apparently. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can get it at Quick Trip or at the convenience store. But like, if you go to... To Mc, get it on Fountain. Yeah, McDonald's, KFC, or whatever. The only one I'm of the fast foods. I'm starting to call bullshit on this orange thing. I don't, hey, Siri, what flavor is Mountain Dew? <laughs> Good luck. I think you're wrong. I don't know. I, I wouldn't surprise I bet it tastes me. like antifreeze. That's what I'm betting. <laughs> yeah. That's why everybody drinks antifreeze. Um, what if flavor? Some, if, if you closed your eyes and somebody gave you Mountain Dew and told you that it was orange soda, you would never know the difference. Really? That's incredible. What flavor <clears throat> is Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew flavor citrus. So it just tastes like citrus fruit. Which is oranges. Yeah. Or grapefruit and oranges. Yeah. There's or no limes, fucking grapefruits. It's all the citruses. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, orange. next one. I feel what? like we should have this tested. Oh. We need to get all the stuff in here. Okay. Not this time, but sometime. Okay, we can do that. Uh, next well, one. You can see all the testing equipment we have. We got our uh, our spectrometer in here. Yeah. <laughs> I just and our gas a blind chromatograph. Will... I want to put this in front of you with a blindfold and see if you can tell me which one's the Mountain Dew because it tastes like orange. Yeah, we, I, I can't. We can get some Shasta. Because it tastes like orange. We can get some Shasta in here. Sun kiss. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, next one. Uh, overrated or underrated? The X Games. Uh, the ten uh, games. Yeah, the yeah the ten. That games. Bruce Jenner played and turned into a woman. Mm, did he? No, no he didn't. If you win all ten games, you have to become a woman. That's, That's the right. Rule. <laughs> it's like Mortal Kombat. If you win ten in a row, <laughs> gender combat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the the X Games is with fucking skateboards and motorcycles. I thought it was with snowboards and snowboards. And that, and that. They got a winter and a summer. Oh, so it's like the Olympics only. The oh, X on, Games. Only I'd X like games. to see him uh, skateboard on the snow. <laughs> yeah. I like the XXX Games. Jeremy. Yeah. Nude? The Triple X Games. Hey, sure. Jeremy. Jeremy, yeah. turn and look behind you. The other way. Other way. I, I don't want to, Scott. I don't follow your fucking orders. There's a fucking snowboard. And a Skateboard buffalo. on a fucking... On a mountain? That's what that is. Really? Where are yeah. the fucking wheels? Un underneath it. They're just really microscopic. No, there's no wheels, Scotty. Yeah. You can't fucking fool me on How this. do you float over the snow? I don't. <laughs> Can I borrow that snowboard? <laughs> no. I would, I would love Why? to see... I love what's about to happen right now. I, I, I support whatever Big's <laughs> idea is. I just need to borrow it for the weekend. I'll bring it back. Like one or two pieces. <laughs> that is my pride possession. That is my like, That's your prize. prize possession? Yes. So I, I can take that. your wife that home and leave the snowboard. Totally. She that wants to leave anyway. That is the nicest <laughs> thing Scotty owns. That piece of wood. <laughs> I love that fucking snowboard. I don't know. The belt's pretty fancy. Uh, I love the belt, too. It's definitely up Do there. you wear that on the snow mountain? <clears throat> or half pipe or whatever it is you're doing? Fuck. If I... If, yeah. Absolutely, I would. I Why would do totally. You, you're, what the fuck are you snowboarding in Kansas? Nowhere. I always go to. I go to either New Mexico or I go to uh, Colorado. When what are you going to fucking New Mexico and snowboard? It's fucking desert. No, no. Oh, no, they got they got good. Man. Angel fire, Angel fire, New uh, Mexico, uh, and then red, Taos. Uh, Taos was the what, other one. What's uh, red? Oh, red, that's the one up north. Red, Rock? Uh, no. red River. I think. No, that's in Oklahoma, in oh, Texas. I can't remember. Um, Why? Well, how do you know all the hot snowboarding spots and you don't know shit about snowboarding? I love snowboarding. I do know everything about snowboarding. That's why I know it doesn't have wheels. <laughs> no. I'm a big fan of Hannah Teeter. That's my famous favorite snowboarder. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. I know yeah. a little bit about stuff. Yeah. Sean White's mine. I actually had a picture. Would. I had a picture of him. You'd rather watch a dude do that than a woman. I get I, it. I would yeah. like to see him just face plant and get a severe head injury. <laughs> no. Scotty or Sean White? Me. Both. Yep. 
<laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, fine. Uh, but seriously, overrated, underrated, the X Games. Underrated. Overrated? Oh, overrated? I went, oh, okay. You go underrated. I mean, it's enjoyable. It's fun to watch, that kind of stuff. Like people getting hurt and stuff. It all depends on which events, I think. I think that I prefer the Winter Olympics over the Summer Olympics because there's a lot more dangerous sports in the Winter Olympics. Yeah. And X Games is full of dangerous stuff. So I like that part of the aspect of it. True. You're sk- oh, yeah. You can see yeah. some serious injury. Have you yeah. seen those guys try and do like backflips on snowmobiles? Oh, yeah. And yeah. they come right down on themselves? Yes. Oh, sure. I laugh my so ass off. That's, <laughs> that's not overrated. That's, that's, that's underrated. Yeah. You're right. I, uh, I, I, uh, I know you don't repeal my it. previous answer. Yep. <laughs> Underrated. Yeah. It's a lot yeah. more injury in X Games. Here's yeah. what I hate is that the announcers announce it with a enthusiasm and a joy that would indicate that anybody actually follows these dumb fucking sports. <laughs> <laughs> like we know who the fuck this is. This is another back to my dad, but he always bitched about the commentators on sporting events. He'd be like, shut up. And yeah. I'm like, would you rather just listen to this with nobody talking? Because it would be terrible. <laughs> But I, I imagine there's no like, commentators in sports. It would be terrible. But they're always like, oh, he's on a run. We haven't seen a run like this since Glenn Hot Stove Hanrahan. <laughs> you, some, like, we all know who that is. Everybody's got to bullshit their way through their job at some point. Sure. Day. <laughs> Hi. That day just gets paid good money to do it. My name's Scotty. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's exactly what I do every episode. Um, I was actually going to check. I forgot your name. Um, <laughs> I never actually cared to remember it. I, I'm going to go underrated too, uh, but but if you have to split them up, Winter X Games or Summer X Games, Winter X Games underrated, Summer X Games overrated. The skateboarding, I have, they, they have like a street course that they're doing now. This was the bullshit that was in the Olympics. It was not very entertaining at all. Now the fucking super pipe or the or the uh, best trick, I can get into that. But everything else that has the street course or whatever, that's bullshit. Yeah, that's how they do it from way up top, man. That's yeah. I don't. I couldn't even imagine standing up there. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Scotty. It. I stopped listening when you said, "What's up, everybody?" <laughs> <laughs> Jer- that's, that's how quickly I lost interest in everything you say. Jeremy loves this, the uh, the ski jump. He's actually an expert at that <laughs> that's a real sport number one and that's what i would do if i were in the olympics that is so big i have said this so many times you don't have to do anything the hill does all the work yep and then you just got to lean forward that's yeah. it yeah exactly it's all simple all right so simple last I one would be the third guy in the bobsled he doesn't do anything either Brakeman. no that's the, no, that's the, bad, the guy. bad guy oh that's right the third guy does nothing but sit there yeah. you're exactly right the second yes. guy like you know pumps up the pilot so he's doing his job <laughs> And the third guy's just you're, sitting there like, You're All the right, junior guys. bevel of the fucking team. <laughs> just hanging out, bro. I never thought I got to go this way. I got to go that way. That's it. <laughs> the middle guys don't do shit. They push the oh, sled and get in. They, yeah. they do more than you think. <laughs> it, if they don't all they fucking turn. lean in sequence, they yeah. Uh, but, yeah, why not just go with the two-man bobsled and eliminate the dead weight? <laughs> just saying, I'm Which go- they I, did. I'm only going to be good at sports I can sit down and play. <laughs> yeah. And the third guy in the bobsled is certainly sitting. <laughs> okay. I've yeah. been that way, but. That's the guy right. in, the mid- in the third seat just never gets out and pushes. You know. <laughs> Come on! Put your back into it. <laughs> All right, last one. Overrated or underrated? Fireball whiskey. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start with this one because Biggs actually pointed out something to me right before we started recording uh, because I have a bottle of Fireball. <laughs> and Fireball whiskey on the bottle, whiskey is incorrectly fucking spelled. Because it's not whiskey. It's just cinnamon flavored Is that my phone? No, it's my. It's the computer. What happened? Nothing. It's just I got a text message. Get a new fucking computer. No, you get text messages on your cell t- on your computer. Uh, it's synced or something like that. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, Fireball whiskey is incorrectly spelled. It's Fireball spelled correctly, but whiskey is spelled without an e because it's, it's not apparently whiskey. not whiskey. Um, it's a cordial of some sort. It's uh, schnapps or a yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's syrup. But it is fucking underrated because on a cold day, there's nothing better than being at a football game in the middle of January and somebody has snuck in some fireball. Oh, you've never had pussy. <laughs> um, there's a lot Obviously of things. Obviously, you never stayed home and watched the game on yeah. TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. going to be nice and warm and cozy in that motherfucker. I'd yeah. rather watch the game freezing my ass off from up high in the fucking corner of the end zone. <laughs> That's where I want to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or I could get it right from the 50-yard line <laughs> with commentators that will replay the shit that I missed. Yeah. You know, Joe Buck and everything. I'd say it's overrated. And drink a real booze. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, here's what's even more overrated than than Fireball Whiskey is the people who like Fireball Whiskey. <laughs> 
Because it's all they fucking want to talk about. Like weed smokers. It's all they want to fucking talk about. Fireball drinkers. That's all. They get special dispensers for fucking fireball. And they just always have it on hand. And it's like, fucking grow They up. have those? Grow the fuck up. They have those? What? Fireball dispensers? Yeah. They're, oh, I'm gonna get they're one. called super soakers. Scotty, I'll get you one. <laughs> nice. I think that if you're going to have to drink fireball, you should have to snort it through your nose. I, ooh, damn. I don't know. I, okay. Yeah, at least half the shot glass has oh, to go up okay. the nose. All right. Fair you chase if you it. do that, then I respect your drinking mm-hmm. for the rest of it. But okay. if you can't do the first one up your nose, I can do that. I have zero respect for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in with it. Or you got to butt chug it. Yeah, butt totally. Chug it. Butt chug it. Oh, it's fireball in a month. That just sounds terrible. That's so <laughs> many levels. Hey, that's, that's, there's Why no is better it burning? One. Something there's, tells me your farts are going to smell delicious. You, know, you can't taste you, it. Well, yeah, you, you smell it. Your asshole has fresh breath. That's, I ain't drunk. I'm got the cinnamon shit. That's that's what we should invent, Jeremy. Something that's like minty fresh that you could shove up your ass that makes your fart smell like fucking Nobody like wants spearmint. To invent you cool with it if I don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's start some kind of butt company. Yeah, yeah I, I'm just, gonna be honest with you. I've never known you to have a good suggestion, Scotty. <laughs> but this might be the worst. <laughs> I'm just Why not. are you that close to people's buttholes that you need them to be smelling better? I don't. I just I hate walking into a fart, man. That's like the worst. I feel like you could just put some kind of pad back there that it would filter through like you do. Oh, that's a bunch. You know, that's why a am much, I sticking things in my asshole? Or just, a, just a, don't go places. That's a yeah. much, Keep your ass at home. That's a much better idea over there, Biggs. Maybe just be a genius. You know, go knuckle deep with some soap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's called washing your ass. But Dave... <laughs> Get you a washcloth, wrap it around the end of a screwdriver. Just give you a little what for. I believe, wasn't it Red Fox? Yeah. Wash your ass. Wash your ass, boy. Oh, that's fucking great. Good job, Biggs. Okay, uh, now we get to move on to Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call questions and preguntas. Biggs, preguntas is Spanish for questions. Um, again, if he you have any... He lived in a mixed neighborhood. He knows that. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, but uh, again, if you have any suggestions, uh, you can uh, go to uh, TikTok in our Q and A and leave your uh, you know your questions suggestions. We didn't have any fan questions today, um, but uh, keep on doing that. We do appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna do the first one. Uh, first question: Things you can't say in front of the boys. Well, I think there's a lot of things here because you, there's things I would say in front of my boy, but not in front of the boys. Okay. Like I'd say to my boy, "Hey, have you ever had a pedicure?" But I wouldn't say to my boys, hey, y'all, want to go get a pedicure? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's specific, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's true. Things you can't say in front of the boys. <laughs> my mom's a good-looking one, isn't she? <laughs> oh, no. That's bad. That's bad. Uh, How's I- my eyeliner? <laughs> <laughs> Is my makeup all... all- Put together? Yeah, it didn't need an add-on. <laughs> it's, uh, it was fine by itself. Uh, no, mine is, um, I think I'm going to go home and take a nice hot bath. Bubble bath with salts. You will get, oh, uh, with salts, yeah. Yeah, you will get excommunicated from that group of friends. Just saying. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, you ever try to brush your back teeth by going in through your butt? <laughs> I'm thinking about shaving stuff. Anybody want to help me tomorrow? <laughs> oh, God. That's what do you guys think of these quilting patterns? <laughs> Let's go fuck some grandmas. <laughs> I don't know. You probably could be able to say that one. I don't know. Yeah. You said that, that, yeah you Depends got, on how old you are. <laughs> well, Where's your retirement, boys? You're like, hey, guys. I don't know. We have discussed on this show there are such thing as cougars. There's women in like the 40 to 50. And then there's saber-toothed tigers. And those are like 60 to 80. So, I mean, it's all all whatever. Okay, next question. 80 is the new 60, in my opinion. That's correct. Uh, next question. Uh, disturbing times to make animal noises. <laughs> Go ahead, Biggs. I don't know. Uh, disturbing times to make animal noises. Mm-hmm. I got one. Right now? <laughs> right now? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't if I'm in line at the bank, that'd be a weird place to go. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of uh, that'd be kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> I, my my answer to this one definitely is a fucking funeral. 
that would be pretty fucking awkward, just burying your grandfather and all what of a sudden. What if it's an animal's funeral? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dog's gonna go While funeral. giving a eulogy. <laughs> yeah. <There laughs> At a go. dog's funeral. I yeah. was I was going to say in the confessional. In the confessional. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Why are you farting in the sound booth? I mean, the <laughs> confessional. Yeah. Uh, I make animal noises. I don't know, like in the emergency room, like what are your, what's wrong with you? And you just start making animal noises. <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make a good monkey noise. That's what. <laughs> you gotta help me. <laughs> When they walk up and say, what would you like for dinner? They'll <laughs> just start making animal noises. Absolutely. I want to moo with a side of <laughs> Yeah, oink. there you go. All, All right. right. Uh, next one. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, next one. Strange things to see riding a unicycle. Me. I was going to say that. Low-hanging fruit like a motherfucker. Biggs. Um... Everybody kind of like does the thing where it's like a, a ladybug. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be weird. Like the bear that rides the unicycle, that's always in like a cartoon or some shit like mm-hmm. that. I think that's a real life thing too. Is it? You can teach a bear to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, ride a unicycle? I've seen bears return. Oh yeah. I've seen bears return library books to the shelves from the counter. Oh my god. In Alaska, that's what they do with them. The Soviets weren't real good at a whole lot of things, <laughs> but vodka, borscht, and bears on unicycle. <laughs> that was it. That was that's their bread and butter. Ooh, man. A lot of bees in there. Uh but yeah, I and would espionage, they're pretty good at that. I would say uh the tigers that um Biggs wants out on the on the football field, they have to be on fucking unicycles. Oh, you're not gonna get it. I feel like yeah, I, I feel like all outside linebackers should have to work on <laughs> <ride unicycles. laughs> Okay, there you go. All right, I'm in with that one. Or figure skaters <laughs> on the ice. What if you just play football on unicycles? Fuck the Tigers. <laughs> I mean, the Super Bowl a little different this year. Well, honestly, if there should be an X game sport, there should be a unicycle <laughs> like a half pipe. Yes, well, they no have like shit. The, the wheelchair basketball basketball guys. They should have the unicycle. Yeah, sports. The able bodied maybe. Yes, <laughs> able bodied unicycles. You know about the unicycle tour to France? <laughs> the power unicycles yes. for the people with wheelchairs. I'd like to see the French on unicycles. <laughs> you know who actually is an outstanding unicycler? You. Me. Adam Carolla <laughs> is really good on a unicycle. So Steve-O. Yeah. Adam Carolla's good at fucking everything. I mean, if you're good at balance, I mean, you would, anybody would be good at it. Yeah. I'm not a balance person. I'm top heavy. Yeah. I would have never guessed. Go <laughs> no, fuck no, yourself. No. Yeah. Um, I'm saving, I'm saving uh, L for the last one. Uh, but next question. L for last. Yeah, that's right. Uh, next question. Mm. What's a good sign that your wife is cheating on you with a snowman? She's always wet. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why are you always moist? Why are you coming home? You smell like coal. Yeah. Um. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Holding a full-side carrot. What do you mean you got poked in the eye by a carrot? <laughs> yeah. That carrot is not... Twice uh, this week. She's, she's holding a, the full-size carrot, but she's not holding it in her hand. Okay. Yeah. Jeremy? Uh, she, so does the, it's, like, it's frosty, so she takes his hat off. It's not alive anymore, and now she's a... Oh, that's true. Is it a live snowman like Frosty? or is it That's like, a necrophiliac. Or is she just dry humping a <laughs> snowman in somebody's well, yeah. is it is it, <laughs> is it a live is snowman? Is it Frosty after he's got the hat on and he's alive? <laughs> yeah. Or is she just fucking a like three-circle... Snowman. She's a snowman necrophiliac. It's got to be a dead one. It's a dead. Yeah. It's a, it's well, a, that's just a puddle, dude. <laughs> okay. A dead snowman is just a puddle of water. I'm going to say when she's got, you know, coal smeared on her face. What's a good sign your wife is cheating on you with a snowman? She's sad in the spring. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Every spring she just gets bummed the fuck out. Yeah, she know. never gets excited for baseball season. <laughs> <laughs> But once November, December roll around, she sure perks up on stuff. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Okay. Last question. I love this question. Things that should have ejector seats. Unicycles. <laughs> Just for everything. But you have to be in hol- like holding the remote. I think, yes, your friend gets to hold the remote. Oh. You wouldn't go very far on that unicycle. It depends on the friend. <laughs> well. Yeah. 
Okay. I don't know which is crueler to make you keep riding the unicycle or to <laughs> throw your ass off. Yeah. It depends. Is a bear riding the unicycle? Because that's cruel. <laughs> yeah, just piss off a bear. Uh, how about uh, how about you there, Jeremy? Uh, submarines. <laughs> I, I would yes. really like to see them with parachutes. Oh, okay. I mean, not ones that take you to the top of the water. Just <laughs> throw you out of the submarine and unleash the parachute to <laughs> sink your ass down to the bottom. Nice. Teslas. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Teslas they they probably lot. should, yeah. actually. Yeah, I think so. Probably. Any, any, any vehicle your mother-in-law is riding in. Uh, I like my mother-in-law. You what? I do. That's why people don't like you. I know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of strange. I'm um, still pissed off I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, he the drew fun. the short straws. Ooh, ooh, I got one. I got one. Uh, the ejector seat, uh, that would be the third position in a bobsled. Oh, there okay. you go. Hell yeah, man. Get rid of some dead weight. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> He's slowing us down. <laughs> rascal scooter. Boom. See I'd it. like to see a rascal scooter. Yeah? Here's what I understand. So, like, John, so you saw that movie Cool Runnings. John Candy is the coach, right? Yeah. And he got kicked out of bobsledding, and then that, so that running 10 feet two or three times a day really kept the weight off of him. And yeah. And as soon as he got kicked out of bobsledding, he just blew up that big? Yeah. 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 Well, that, that, that movie is a complete farce, by it the way. It is. And that's, I know it is, but it doesn't mean I don't want to talk about it. Um, All right. Yeah. Um, this is actually kind of one of those forbidden subjects that we... This and politics. Mm-hmm. Um, I know more about Cool Runnings than any of the sports we've talked about today. Cool Runnings is the shit. That's it's a great movie. I love that movie. But it absolutely... Sure it is. It fucked um, with me when I Are you dead, I man? Are you dead, man? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, I've known you since Julie Jeffries asked to see you dingling. <laughs> Jamaica's got the bobsled team. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> third, third position was uh, Junior. Junior would be Junior fucking... Junior Bevel, yeah. He would be out of that motherfucking bobsled. So, well, guys... Uh, Not Doris. Huh? Not Doris. What was the other one? Uh, Yule Brenner. Yule yeah. Brenner. Yule Brenner. <laughs> How about I draw a line down the middle of your head so it looks like a butt? We are not the Swedish. We are Jamaican. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Dougie Doug really went on to a lot of things after that, didn't he? D- who? Dougie Doug. Who the fuck's Dougie Sanka. Doug? Sanka. Sanka? I don't remember seeing him in much. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> but for a minute, he was like the it guy. Everybody thought he was going places because he had treadlocks. Cool Runnings was an ejector seat for those guys' career. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> launched him right out of the business. I mean, yep. f- for fuck's sake, I mean, it launched John Candy off of life. Yeah. True. True. That uh, wasn't his last movie, but close. Nah, it was pretty close. Okay, but now... The wrong thing to say to a heartbroken friend. Oh, uh, Cool Runnings wasn't real. <laughs> that's, that's, an, that's for another <laughs> episode. Now they're sad over two things. <laughs> Rudy was fake. We <laughs> faked the whole thing. Yeah. He was offsides. Yeah, he was. All right. So now we get to move on to our draft this week. Uh, for what it's worth, uh, Jeremy, you yeah. you won the uh, serial yeah, killer did. draft. Our like favorite not, serial uh, killers is what we did last week, Biggs. And yeah. I'm I'm really – I my favorite list of serial killers just kicks ass. <laughs> I thought mine was. I don't feel good. like I know enough serial killers to play this one. Oh, oh man, you'd be surprised how many you know. Just all of, if, if watch Netflix long enough, you'll run into a shitload of those documentaries. I oh, guarantee. Yeah, I did. It. Did that, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Was that what we're doing for real? No, oh, that was last. That, week. Was, that last was last week. week, and I won, so I get to pick last. He gets to pick last. He gets the championship pick, so he uh, he picks two in a row. Uh, I am in the middle uh, because I got dead last. Apparently, that's great. Uh, but Biggs, uh, you get first pick being the guest on the episode today, and this week's uh, draft is going to be our favorite stand-up comedy specials, okay? So you can use your phone for this if you want to, uh, but you can't obviously pick what somebody else has drafted. Complaints uh, and grievances, George Carlin. George Carlin, that was a good one. That is one. a good one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. I feel like this game could go on forever if I just open Netflix and we, go through this. We only get five. <laughs> yeah, we only get five. Oh, we only get five? Yeah. I didn't know I had to pick my top five. I said there's ones I could remember. Yeah, that's why That's why you use your phone in this one. Oh, shit. Um, I'm going to go with Richard Pryor, uh, Live on the Sunset Strip. Okay. Because I would have taken George Carlin in the very first one, but yeah. Oh, you can't repeat George Carlin? No, no, no. You can take another uh, like special oh. of his, but I wouldn't suggest it. I get it. Okay. Uh, Jeremy, you yeah. get two. You get back-to-back ones, dude. All right. Uh, Eddie Murphy, Delirious. Okay. 
Uh-huh. And I could uh, go the other way and just be unoriginal, but I'm not going to. Okay. Um, I will go with... God yep. damn it. There's a bunch of them in there. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch. There's a Richard Pryor one that I don't want to say the name of. Um, I'm going to go George Carlin, Class Clown. Okay. All right, so I get one. Um, this is a newer one, uh, but it's uh, one of my favorite. It is uh, Dave Chappelle's Sticks and Stones. I okay. loved it. All right. Now, Biggs, you get two in a row. A Big Stephen Pile Me by Richard Jenny. Richard Jenny? Mm. Ooh. Legend. Died before okay. his time. Uh, Was it a suicide or an overdose? I think so. But we, mm-hmm. oh, no, I think he's suicide. <laughs> Did he hang himself in a closet? It might have been. I don't know. I know it was very sad, and he was he was one of those guys that there's no telling what he could have done. Yeah? He was just such a brilliant mind. I'm what gonna the fuck was that? I get to do two in a row. I'm going to do the yeah, next one. Would yeah, be, so you got Richard Jenny, and then what's the next one? I would do Dad Chaniels by Chad Daniels. <laughs> oh, Chad Daniels is. Uh, God, why didn't he go further with his career? I think he's still out there working. Uh, yeah, I know he is, but I mean, why, why didn't he get up there? He's, in my opinion, there. every bit as good as like a Bill Burr. But I mean, he doesn't get the recognition. Probably maybe because he lives in Minnesota raising his kids. Yeah, what a dick. Okay. You've got to go where the action is to get bigger. But, I mean, he still did Tonight Show and all that stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he's a play. legit headliner. Yeah. Uh, if I don't put this guy on my list, I, I, I just can't be honest with oh, myself. Jesus I know Christ, it's going to be Burt Kreischer. No, 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 it's not. Dumb G. No, but I think you're going to hate. I think you're going to hate this guy just as much. Uh, Mitch Hedberg, Comedy Central Half Hour. I'm fine with Mitch Hedberg. I love Mitch Hedberg. Dane Cook, I might have taken that shit well. But no, no, then, no, I don't know. No, no, I'm with you 100 percent there. I saw Dane Cook live one time, and he talked. He talked about was fucking porn stars in the asshole. Ooh. That's always good. Well, you know? that that it is. An, it was an all ages show. Jesus. <laughs> it was disgusting, but uh-huh. it was funny. I mean, I won't. I'll give him that. It was a it was a funny show, but okay. Uh, Jeremy, inappropriate in so many ways. Yep, Jeremy, you get two. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Gary Goldman in this economy. Okay. All right. And John Mulaney. Okay. The top part. All right. Okay. So, uh, I am going to go, yeah, I'm going to go Bill Burr. You people are all the same. I like that one. Okay, you get the last two picks there, Biggs. Final two. I'd probably do uh, Robert Williams live on Broadway. That's late though. We could go earlier. Joke. Almost any of those albums, but J- Joke Thief. I was gonna give him that one, but it's still performance-wise. Yeah, he was good. Phenomenal. Okay, last pick. What well, live on Broadway? Because didn't he do live at the Met too? Yeah, and he also was... did Weapons of Mass Destruction late. Yeah, yeah, also. Self-destruction. Self-destruction. Yeah, Weapons of Self-destruction. And then I get one more. You get one more. Well, then I'm going to go... Oh, shit, that'd be controversial. I can't say that one. I'm going to go... Uh, uh, what is it? Jamming in New York by Carlin again, because that was the one. I, I was 13 years mm-hmm. old. I can still remember watching it live. Okay. B- doubled over. George Carlin used get to... Get on the plane. Get on the plane. Fuck you. I'm getting in the plane. I mean, just crying. George Carlin used to put out a new hour every year. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> what, 14 HBO specials? Something like that, yeah. That's, that's so fucking unreal. That is so prolific. Yeah. Mm, damn it. I think it was just self-titled, but I can't find it. I can't even believe you Google. That is one of the fucking specials. I loved it. it this actually made me really a start watching more comedy and I can't well if that's what it did for you then good but it's still a terrible influence oh no um, no I can't fucking find it son of a bitch good then don't say it no I guess um yeah 
I'm it's gonna, only an hour and a half, Scotty. Fuck off. Overrated or underrated? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll find Scotty's it. Scotty's list. Overrated. <sighs> no. I'll go, uh, yeah, I'll go uh, Joe Rogan, Rocky Mountain High. Jesus fucking stain. Yeah, I love Joe Rogan. There's so many better comedians. I just like him for what he's done. I think it's great. So anyways, uh, Jeremy, pick the last one, dude. I have to do it just because he's my, he's my guy. People aren't going to know who I'm talking about, but he is my guy. Jimmy Pardo, pompous clown. Yeah, That's Jimmy. Jimmy Pardo's great. Fuck it. The one that I was looking for is actually just Joe Rogan Live is one I was looking for. Okay. Well, guys, that is our list of our favorite. This is not even the best. This is just our favorite stand-up comedy specials. Uh, do us a favor. Go on Facebook on uh, Wednesday before noon, Central Standard Time, and vote for your favorite list by using the corresponding emoji. That will determine who picks you know, the championship picks next week, uh, but not uh, not Biggs because he probably won't be here. I feel like there's a couple of major ones that were left off the list. I feel like I could have went more obscure. Oh, and I, all that better. Yeah. I don't know about my list. Or, or legendary. I mean, it, Bill Cosby himself. Yeah, oh, that's, that's what I said. I was going to say what I can't say because it would be controversial. Uh, yeah. Bill Burr, oh. Paper Tiger. Then there's a, a Richard Pryor one, which... I refuse to say because I've always said that if I said it, I wouldn't censor myself. Mm-hmm. But he puts the N-word in the title. He's crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, f- he fought like hell to get that word in the title. Mm-hmm. Like, basically said, I won't release the album if you don't. So I won't say the title because I don't want to say the word. Yeah. But if I ever do say it, I say the full thing because it's like, who the fuck am I to censor Richard Pryor? <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm in no position to edit him. Yeah. Please uh, do yourself a favor and go listen to Robert Hawkins' Get Out of Me. Um, Burt Kreischer, The Machine. <laughs> Robert Hawkins, fantastic. Eddie Gosling, if you can find his album. Yeah. Tom Segura, Ball Hog. That's the most recent one on Netflix. Steve Martin, great. Wild and Crazy Guy. Oh, yeah. There Sucks. Was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, the first half of it is pretty good where he's in a comedy club. The second half, he's in an arena, yeah. like in the round. Yeah. And it's just all the crowd. Ow! Yeah! Ow! <laughs> and it's like, shut up. He Let him do his fucking jokes. Yeah. And they wouldn't. That's it right. was him just playing to the crowd, dancing around, which really goes over well on a record. Right. Eddie Gosling, Fresh Brew. Ooh, Eddie, Eddie Gosling. Hmm. Fantastic special. Sebastian Maniscalco has several really good specials out there. Right. Okay. Jeff Fox really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Might be a redneck. It's a great album. You ever listen to his joke structure? Very solid stuff. <laughs> Ron White, they call me Tater Salad. Yeah. Very good. That was Very good. One. good. All right. Well, that is our draft, guys. Um, now we get to move on to... Anything by Haywood Banks. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation I'll tell you of really the good. week. I'll tell you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. May 4th, 1970, on the campus of Kent State University in Kent, Ohio, students gathered to protest the Vietnam War, mostly the United States invasion of Cambodia. The National Guard was called in to uh, help control the situation. Unfortunately, one of the uh, students, uh, or one of the National Guardsmen, um, perceived some of the student action as hostile and fired around. This prompted 23 of the other soldiers to fire a total of 67 rounds in just under 13 seconds. Holy fuck. The uh, aftermath was pretty ugly, leaving four dead with nine under- others seriously wounded, including one permanently paralyzed. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but Legos and a little bit of imagination. How poorly trained were those soldiers? <laughs> and they got to fire that many bullets and only killed four people. Pretty damn. Jesus. <laughs> There's a reason they weren't in Cambodia. Well, that's why they were in the guard. They're the ones who are keeping guard. home. <laughs> Don't send them into war. Ah, uh, shit. But yeah. Legos, be all you can be. <laughs> yeah. One block at a time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this week's shitty situation is, would shit. you rather... Ride a unicycle with an ejector seat with the control, uh, your friend has it. Okay. Or would you rather ride a unicycle that uh, the seat has, uh, you know, the shape of a butt plug? 
or fist? I prefer fist. Okay, fist. Oh. Shove of a fist. <laughs> yeah, the fist with Who's the, eject- fist? the ejector button. Yeah. <laughs> the baby's fist or is it? Are they like those whole cans? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd say butt plug. Just make I, it more realistic. I think we should be like Hulk Hogan's. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Fist. Uh, but yeah, would you rather? Uh, Biggs? I want the ejector seat to be shaped, the ejector thing to be shaped like a fist. <laughs> of course you would. Because if I'm taking a fist to the asshole, I want it to be fast. <laughs> <laughs> I want it over. <laughs> um, I, I've actually always said that in Taekwondo, I uh, got to a point where I could punch through four boards, and I have surprisingly small hands for a man of my size. That makes me prime candidate for fisting. <laughs> Get it over with quick. It's like pulling off a Band-Aid. Well, well a plug is just shaped like you got your fingers like that, right? So <laughs> this is the fist, so. <laughs> it's a, it's a, the butt plug would probably be a lot nicer going in. <laughs> or forgiving, I mean. Like oh, sure. Oh, sure. It would be a lot more forgiving than the fist. And, and by the way, this is a good quality butt plug. This oh. isn't that just cheapo rubber. It's not flimsy. Yeah. Uh-uh. yeah. No, this has got some rigidness to it. Has okay. it been lubed? Has it been prior lubed or is this a dry? No, it's was dry. It dry? This is dry. I, does it? Okay. It's, it's, it's dry. Can, can I go? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to say it really doesn't matter on the lube because if I'm working to ride a unicycle, I'm getting pretty sweaty back there anyway. Uh, I make my own gravy, basically. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with the butt plug because I just don't trust my friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? I, I, don't, I don't. How about you, Biggs? I mean, if you go with the butt plug, because it's going to be more forgiving. Oh, really? Yeah. I yeah. Mean, that's what if my, if my friend has the control, I don't, yeah. It depends yeah. on the friend, I guess, but yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm definitely going with the ejector seat. Because those are rocket controlled. That's going to throw you <laughs> way the fuck up there. That's going to throw you well, up I thought there. We were going There's between, no parachute. I thought we were picking between butt plug and fists. No. Oh, I'm no. going with the ejector seat all day. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get impaled. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm totally going to be... Let me go back. I'm sorry. I need a backpedal. Yeah. Ejector seat. That's ejector fine with me. Seat. I'm totally good with that. Yeah. I'm I'm going the ejector seat. I know who has the button. Uh, Derek has the button. And I think that he would be... He would wait for me to where I'm like falling off the ejector seat to where that fucking ejector just fucking shoots me like a fucking rock across a lake and just skips all the way like 30 yards away. I feel like you're strapped into the ejector seat. Well, yeah, but it's I'm gonna skip like a rock. Yeah, it doesn't throw you off. The seat actually comes off, and it's got yeah. rocket boosters on it. <laughs> You're gonna be falling forward. And yeah, I'm gonna be flying right into the sidewall of the stadium. Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna die before I let somebody put a butt plug in my butt. I really am pretty heavy. I don't know what that. would you rather they put in your butt, Scotty? <laughs> Still, That's the real question. Still dreading that one appointment that I'm going to have to get when I'm 45. Oh, for God's sake, it's a finger grow up. <laughs> Here's it. the thing. And would... by the way, that's only for African Americans. For white people, it's 50. Oh, is it 50? Yep. Oh, cool. I'm pretty sure Derek's a premature ejector, so you wouldn't. You probably wouldn't have to yeah. worry about it. <laughs> skipping would. much. He is a premature ejector. But the thing is, no matter what happens, everybody's a winner in this because this means you know how to ride a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Which... Yeah. Honestly, I think anybody who does know how to ride a unicycle, that would totally explain why they get so much pussy. <laughs> yeah. And and uh Biggs would we would see Biggs would ride a unicycle. Beautiful. I would rather see the thumb thing, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. There it is. That's the magic right magic there. Magic right there. Regular David Copperfield. Yeah. Um I don't really been that one. I'm not even sure <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. You're out of practice with it? There you go. All right. Can I chip uh, my name into that? Nope. Please? Nope. Uh-uh. No. I'll kill you. All right. You're going to fart on it. No. Nope. That's that's a little bit more acceptable. I'm going to steam that signature right off of it. That's there. fine. You might actually blow some of the dust off of that thing. I would actually like to see you hop up there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd end up with that getting impaled on me. Oh, <laughs> you would. I guarantee it. We can put it. this on the seat of the unicycle. That's actually Derek's used uh, Super Bowl trophy dildo. I feel like he's had this inside his wife at one point. <laughs> oh, God. Or she's had it inside of him. <laughs> yes, I think, I think inside it smells him. like Katie. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. I don't even know what she smells like. I'm kidding. Drop name. Okay. Um, not at me. Anyways, uh, that's all we have for today. 
Um, yeah, did anybody guys, you guys have anything that you want to put out there? Th- thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yes, thank Absolutely. you for doing this. Thank yeah, you, Biggs, no for, for stopping by. I'm glad I got the invite. Yeah, I'm glad you did, too. I Don't t- ever ask me to come back. Though. Okay, I won't. Anything you want to promote? Yeah, anything. Uh, you know, uh, uh, there's a Looney Bin Comedy Club in downtown. Which, you know, if you like live comedy, come see a show. Yeah, absolutely. Every Thursday exactly. is ladies' night. You ladies have no... Uh, no no argument for not coming because you can get in for free. There you go. Thursday shows at eight. Eight, and, and then, then Friday and Saturday at seven thirty and ten p.m. There nice. you go. This week we've got DJ Sandu. Ooh, very funny guy. Yeah. And Cam Cam Bertrand will be here next week or a week after this, and then he was just on America's Got Talent. America's Got oh, Talent. Really? Oh, wow. cool. That's fucking cool. Yep. Well, all right, guys. Uh, that's all I have for today, uh, guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, TikTok channel keeps on growing, uh, and that's all because of you guys sharing our uh, posts and tagging people in them and leaving comments and watching the whole video. Apparently, that uh, that makes a difference. Uh, so, if you guys would keep doing that, we sincerely do appreciate. It. And as always, we like to tell you that if you like us, keep telling your friends and telling your family. And if you don't like us, I hope Nickelback runs a train on your wife dressed like snowman. <laughs> If you don't like us. <laughs> Tell your enemies. And until next time. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. <laughs> it keeps going and going and going and going. And until going next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. <laughs>